Well, Joe Calzaghe, 25 years of age from Newbridge in South Wales, has really arrived at the top in the last few months. His victory over Chris Eubank in a memorable fight in Sheffield last October has catapulted him right to the top. And interestingly, I was reading in one of the American magazines this week, they're saying, well, we may not have heard of him over here, but the experts over the other side of the Atlantic are already saying that this guy is the best 168-pounder in the world. Well, he has looked very, very impressive. The Eubank win was tremendous. He answered a lot of questions that maybe people said he, he hadn't been with a big name. He hadn't, you know, the, the right things. But in the Eubank fight, he was terrific. I mean, he certainly he, he is becoming a big name. He did have a little bit of trouble making the weight last night. And I spoke to him afterwards, and he says, yes, it's a fair cop. I do struggle to make super middleweight these days, so expect to move up to light heavyweight within the next year, I'd say. Well, it certainly looks that way. If he's starting to, you know, to fail the weight the first time, he's got a few problems, so you know, it, it could be a, a good move for him. Good crowd here at the Cardiff Ice Rink. Calzaghe, much the younger man, by nine years, in fact. Him and his 37 now. Height and reach advantages significantly for Calzaghe, and a big advantage in power, too. That's not on that caption, but it's there. Both of them eventually inside the 12-stone limit, though Calzaghe had to go into a sauna, which you're not really supposed to do, but he did. Total fights, Jimenez in his 60th tonight, as Paul Dempsey was telling you, he's never been stopped. Look at that, 420 rounds, only 69 so far for Calzaghe. But look at the bottom, knockout percentage for Calzaghe, 91. Jimenez, only 55. But he is Mr. Durability. Rules, manager eight, no standing eight, no three knockdown, only the referee can stop it. The bell won't save a fighter who's in trouble or on the floor in any round. the Kalsaki fan club who've come here tonight in their thousands to get behind him. And they're making a rattling good noise. organization president francesco valcasel and whose appointed officials at ringside are the supervisor mr gene glenn of ohio in the usa the british boxing board of control supervisor mr simon block of london the steward in charge lord brooks of tarumorfa and the timekeeper at the bell mr gordon pate of swansea the judges at ringside mr larry hazard jr of new jersey Mr. Roy Francis of London and Mr. Mickey Van from Leeds. And the referee in charge of the action this evening, officiating in his 10th world title contest from Hamden, Connecticut, Mr. Mike Ortega. My lords, ladies and gentlemen, live and exclusive across the Sky Sports Network from the National Ice Rink in Cardiff in Wales, it's big. Fight time! Sponsored by Continental Cars of Cardiff and promoted by Frank Warren for Sports Network, it's World Championship Boxing. And a contest of 12 three minute rounds to decide the WBO Super Middleweight Championship of the World. Introducing the boxers, and firstly, fighting out of the red corner. He comes from Paraguay in South America, and he's wearing black, trimmed with red. He weighed in at 11 stone, 12 and a half pounds. That's 166 and a half pounds. And from a 59 fight professional record, he has 48 wins, 33 wins by way of KO, with eight losses and three draws. This is his fourth 
world title challenge this evening and he comes to the ring the former South American champion and the official WBO ranked number one challenger for the title. Please welcome Juan Carlos Jimenez. And ladies and gentlemen, across the ring in a blue corner, wearing the all black trunks, he comes from Newbridge in Gwensin, South Wales. He also weighed in at 11 stone, 12 and a half pounds, 166 and a half pounds. He is unquestionably the hardest hitting super middleweight of today, holding a perfect record in his 24 fight career, with 22 magnificent wins coming by way of the big KO. He's the former four times ABA champion and the former undefeated British super middleweight champion. And tonight he is making his second defense of his title, presenting the WBO Super Middleweight Champion of the World, Joe Calzaghe! And now the referee, Mr. Michael Tinger, will give his instructions to both boxers. Well, anyone who doubts that Calzaghe has taken off as a star ought to be here. And just listen to the racket. Gentlemen, I want a good, clean fight. Get on up a little buena. Okay. Good luck to the both of you. When I sweat that dos, touch gloves, back to your corner. Talk a little bit this, Latina. Ladies and gentlemen, the WBO Super Middleweight Championship of the world. Second defense of the title, this for Calzaghi. Jimenez. Well, Nigel Benn couldn't stop him, Chris Eubank couldn't stop him, Roberto Duran couldn't stop him, nobody has been able to stop him. Will Joe Calzaghi be the first? Calzaghi, a southpaw, rangy and hard-hitting. Remember how he had Eubank down in the opening seconds when those two met on that full Monty show in Sheffield. Jimenez is a tough, ultra-resilient fighter. Comes from the Paraguayan capital of Asuncion. They call him the Bull of Varadero. That's an area of that capital city. The 37 is getting on, Glenn. Yes, you'd think he's starting to slow down, so we can't really expect him to be as quick as Carl Zaki, but he is very, very durable, very experienced. Very tight defence, gloves up. Hard to penetrate, and Kawasaki may need to be patient here. Welsh anthems ringing around the arena in the land of song. Good body shot from Kawasaki. One of the bookmakers this morning had him as a 12 to 1 on favourite to retain his title here. He's not taking anything for granted, he's still giving Jimenez respect with a nice cluster of punches here. Trying to bring the guard down with body punches, Kalzaghi, to leave the head as a target. Really getting some leverage into these. has already retreated into survival mode and we're only in round one. He's a good puncher, though, a nice uppercut from Kazaki there. One of the things that Joe's been trying to improve is his use of that southpaw jab. He feels he didn't use that enough in the Eubank fight. One or two people, too, nitpicking, have said that he slaps a bit. That was true on the way up, but... Uh, I think really in view of the way he has been fighting in the last year or so, it is nitpicking a bit. Yes, I think it is. He's been boxing very well indeed. This is a good start for him. Not getting carried away. He's caught.
caught Jimenez with some good punches, but he's still using the jab, working the openings. Body punching, clearly a part of the strategy. He's already dug in a lot around the ribcage. Jimenez under some heavy fire. He may need all of that resilience. So he has to be careful with the counters. 33 kills in the head. Go back to the Cardiff ice ring. Enzo Calzaghi, Joe's dad in the corner. Went to the same school as Joe Buckner, by the way. Well, that was a very good round for Calzaghi. Lots of good punches, and he had Jimenez on the defensive for, for the full round. Second round. Calzaghi, the fast, aggressive southpaw with some mega power. Jimenez with the red stripe down his trunks from Paraguay in his fourth attempt to win a world title. Hasn't managed it yet. It's looking a little fleshy around the waistband. Jimenez, but he's always had that kind of bull-like build. I remember from the days when he was fighting Ben and Eubank. Yes, that's right, but I think it's a, it's a good ploy for Kazaki to try and bring the hands down with good body punches. He did do a lot of that in the first round, and I'll carry on doing that. Kazaki looking as if he wants to pick his punches, not waste too many on the arms and gloves of Jimenez. Just look for the shots, bide his time, and hope that he can do what nobody else has done and stop this fella. There are big plans for an American debut for Joe Calzaghe, maybe this summer, maybe on the next Nassim Hamed fight in America, maybe against the IBF title holder, Charles Brewer, who recently beat Harold Graham. Had a struggle to do it, mind you. That's in the future, this is now. He has to get this job done first. He's gone about it the right way, he's just trying to pick him in as a far with the jab, just make him make mistakes before he steps in with the bigger shots. Very cautious, nothing really coming back from him. Maybe Calzaghi just trying to tempt him out a little. Yes, I think he wants him just to, to break the guard away a bit, make him try and do something so he'll find holes in his defences. Jimenez. Ultra defensive, ultra cautious. You'll know all about Calzaghi's parry. He said he'd never watched a video of him. He said, Why should I? I've been in with Roberto Duran. Good body punch from Calzaghi. Just trying to get Hunes to bring his hands down. Among his many problems in there, Calzaghi with a big, big. Advantage in power and reach. He married with three children, and uh, his world title win has got him some riches. He now has a Porsche and a sponsored Mercedes and a bigger house, and there might be more to come. I think if he carries on the way he's going, there'll be a lot more to come. Very exciting fighter. But he just has to keep winning. Third round. Due to go 12, of course, the WBO super middleweight title recently held by Chris Eubank and then Steve Collins, now retired. Steve never lost it in the ring, of course. He was due to go in with Calzaghi, who has now decided to indulge in some showboating. He's just, I think he's trying mentally to, to make him and his do something. He's been very, very defensive. Kazai wants him to come out of his shell, start throwing things to him so he can get, get him to make a mistake. 
but he mustn't lose his concentration. Calzaghe, I think there's an early sign there of frustration that Jimenez will not have a fight with him, really. That's right, he can't lose concentration. He's got to carry on doing what he's doing. He'll, 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 the, the, the gaps will appear. Getting in with a body shot. Quite well picked. by way of aggressive intent from the Paraguayan, but let's be honest, we never thought there would be, did we? No, we didn't. I think it would do him more harm if he starts to throw punches, the gaps will appear. Kazaki will be able to get him, he's, he's very much in defence mode. And this man is ranked number one by the World Boxing Organisation. They were insistent that Kazaki fought him, but uh, he's only had a half a dozen fights or so since 1994 when he fought Nigel Benn, so their preoccupation with him is a little difficult to understand, but uh, there you go. A lot of things are difficult to understand in boxing, aren't they? That's right, really, because I can only fight the man they put in front of him. He is the number one contender. He has to fight this man, so really it's just his business to get him out of the way. And there's a countering right hand from Jimenez. I only mention it because it's one of the very rare punches he's attempted so far. It's all Kalzaghi. Good defensive work there from him and then just dipping low. Oh, big left hand there from Kalsaki, and once again, like a sponge, he absorbed it, the Paraguayan. Round four, Kalsaki. Thank you very much indeed, Paul. Joe Kalsaki utterly dominant, easily winning the first three rounds against a extremely defensive and so far negative one, Carlos Jimenez from Paraguay. Paraguay will hope that their defence is as good in the World Cup this coming up. This is... He's getting his hands up and he's just completely defensive-minded. You know, it would be frustrating for Carlos Aki, he'll want more. There's always a danger, he gets a little bit bored by and loses concentration. And he really hasn't got to do that. Might be a long job for Carlos Aki who won his first nine fights in his pro career inside two rounds. And he's almost here as if he's feeling the need to go into this break dancing and disco dancing to kind of entertain himself almost. That's right, there's always a danger when a fighter does that because just that momentary lapse of concentration when you can be caught with a good punch. I've never seen him do that before, have you? No, no, really, no, nothing like this, but it's because there's nothing, there's very little coming back from Jimenez. He wants more of a fight, he enjoys the fight. He may be just trying to do something to break Jimenez's concentration. Well, I think maybe he's hoping the macho comes out in Jimenez and you know, he, he gets embarrassed by what Kalsaki's doing, so he gets him to, to start working and then Kalsaki can catch him. This, it's all part of a learning experience. It sounds like he has to try and get to him. And often fighters will be very defensive, and he's got to try and open them up. All attempts so far to lure him and his out of his shell have failed. Now like has been knocking at the door, but there's no one coming out. head punches there from Carl Zaki. Well, the odd counter here now from Jimenez. Some of these 
shots being driven through that high-held guard, some being blocked, plenty being blocked, but the body punches seem to be the best route. They are getting in underneath the elbows. Well, he can protect his, his tough granite jaw, but it's much more difficult to cover up the body. Bigger target to aim at, so I think Kalzaghi's best to, to try and concentrate on that. Still, it's all Kalzaghi. We've heard what... Um, Glenn and I are making of this so far. I wonder if Nicky Piper, who's with us, can give any uh, fresh insights here, Nicky. No idea what's going on, to be honest with you, Ian. But uh, I do know, Joe, if he is struggling for the weight, it's going to be hard-pressed to keep this work up for 12 rounds. Jimenez has been the distance with, with everybody so far. And uh, it could be an interesting point. Is Jimenez just finding his time uh, with a late onslaught? I think Joe's working well. I think he's a fit young man who, who can go at this pace, hopefully, for 12 rounds. I think, I think he can think he can stop this guy, I think Nicky. so I said five or six and maybe it could go a bit longer but um, but I think uh, yeah I'm sticking to that and inside the distance win for Joe Kanzaki on when, when somebody is coming forward and throwing this much leather there's only so much a man can take and him and 37 may not be able to last 12 rounds thanks Nicky let's see fifth round Joe kalzaki has been saying in the build-up to this fight that Jimenez would not go past five rounds. Even bearing in mind that record of no stoppage defeats in 59 fights in 16 years, not to mention another 67 amateur bouts in which Jimenez claimed he was never, ever on the floor. Yes, I think it's proven that he's a very, very durable and tough guy. It's kind of like his job, he's younger and fresher, he's the champ, he's got to try and break him down with constant pressure. Durability is one thing. And there is a bit of aggression at last from Jimenez. Got through with a right hand, just a little reminder to Calzaghi. Shows a, a decent roundhouse right. Calzaghi still has to be where. Just a little puffy around the face, Jimenez, but. Hard to see how much damage might be there because he looked a bit like that when he started, didn't he? Yes, he did. But the punches are getting through. And, you know, it's, he's just got to keep doing it, Kalzaki. Keep trying to wear him down. He's doubling up on the jab, Kalzaki. Well, Jimenez, at least now, throwing the occasional right hand. There's another one. He's probably thrown more punches in this round than in the rest of the fight put together. That's right. Well, it wouldn't be that difficult because he hasn't thrown a great deal of punches in this whole fight. That's a good cracking left hand from Joe Calzaghi. Settling down nicely into his boxing, Calzaghi, and it's a chance really for him to show what he can do on the boxing front as well here, isn't it? Yes, this is better. When he uses his jab, it's a, it's a good jab that he has. And this will just soften him and his up, open the defences, and then he's got to try and get his big punches in. But I still like to see him keep the body attack up. He's boxing. Quite nicely now, Kalzaghi's relaxed. There's none of the showboating in this round. Not by the left hand of the Paraguayan there, though. A very good, solid jab from Kalzaghi. He should use it more. Yes, it's a, it's a, certainly he throws it very well. That's the scene here at the Cardiff Ice Rink in Cardiff City Centre. Local hero, Jao Calzaghi, already in a big lead here over his latest challenger, Juan Carlos Jimenez. 156 to 18 landed by Calzaghi, who's thrown over 300 punches so far. Jimenez has yet to get to the turn. Well, it tells a story how negative he really is. The last round, he did try, did throw, throw a few more punches, did connect once or twice, just to remind Calzaghi he's still there not to get too relaxed. 
This is the sixth round. that he should be in there. There's certainly better people around than him. But they, they, they kept ranking him there, and they kept him there, and he's had to have a shot. Our spies tell us that the Jimenez corner were getting agitated with him between the rounds. Well, you can't really, really blame them. I'm sure they'd want to see more work. Since Kanzaki's trying to draw him in, he wants him to do more. That way the defences come up and you can get to your man. It's a bit of a hiding to nothing job, this, for Kanzaki after the fireworks of the last few months, isn't it? Yes, it is, but really it, it's not his fault. He's, he's in with somebody who's been very, very negative and, you know, he just can't afford to make a mistake, Kanzaki. He's still got a... You know, he's number one contender, Jimenez. Sounds like he has to get him out of the way, so you know, he's got to come through with the best performance he can. That's a nice left cross from Kalzaghi. Bruising underneath the left eye of Jimenez. Only two men have ever taken Kalzaghi the distance, both of the Eubank family, Chris himself and his cousin, Bobby Joe Edwards. I don't think Jimenez is in the Eubank family. I shouldn't think so. Still adopting these very defensive tactics. Nothing really coming back from Jimenez. The best win on Jimenez's record was over Jorge Amparo. It wasn't a bad fight from the Dominican Republic. Mind you, it was 11 years ago. He also drew with Ronnie the Dragon Essip, who was in a dreadful fight with Chris Eubank, and I'm very, very glad I didn't have to watch that one. Still good work from Carl Zaki. Nice short to the left in close. Well, still, Jimenez offering not much more than resilience and durability, and it is one-way traffic of a spectacular variety, really. I'm sure the crowd are restless. They obviously want Jimenez to put up tougher opposition. I think he's very much decided on a safety-first approach because nothing coming back from him. Look at that. Look at that, 91 to 1 on Unbelievable. the jabs. And a fight total so far, <laughs> halfway through and one jab landed. Yep. Oh, boy. <laughs> There's one of the 91. That's a very good one. He's used the jab very well, Kalzaki. But still, he just can't manage to find the right shots. Kalzaghi has been unable to make his uh, tentative prediction come true. But I spoke to him last night. They had the weigh in at a local garage uh, where they're sponsoring the fight. And he was saying then he's prepared to do the full 12 rounds if he has to. Well, I think he'll have realized that he, this man's never been stopped, so that will always be in the back of his mind. He's doing everything right. Giving them everything on my card, and I don't think anybody will agree with that. Anybody will disagree. Yeah. <laughs> the whole world agrees. Oh, that's a really big shot. That left cross, that did catch Jimenez. He was a little shaken for a moment there, but his powers of recovery are quite excellent, and he looks like he's got through the crisis. It may be getting to the point where the referee, Mike Ortega, who's witnessing all this at close hand, may feel that if Kalzaghi can throw in a lot of unanswered punches, maybe he will step in. This is good work 
now from Kalzaki, putting good pressure on Jimenez. A right hand reminder from Jimenez. But signs here that Kalzaki may just be beginning to break up even this rock hard man. Well, this is a tough guy. Kalzaki just complaining, use of the head from Jimenez. Very heavy-handed left, wicked right into the ribcage. Kalzaki mixing it up. He's doing nothing wrong here, is he, Joe? It's a very good performance from Kalzaki. Doing everything that he has to do, mixing the punches up well. It was a very good right to the body went in. We just had Jimenez wincing. It's going to take this sort of pressure to wear him down. rather lunging in and glad to just tie up Calzaghi and buy a few seconds. Can Joe Calzaghi of Wales become the first man in 60 fights to stop Juan Carlos? And as I say, uh, 60, some people think he's had over 80, but the official record book says 60. sometimes to keep a check on fights going on in the wilds of some of these South American countries. Another big left hand, Kalzaghi starting to land quite a lot of these now. Big, big shots, and still they bounce off the man from Asuncion, Paraguay. Well, he's doing the right thing, Kalzaghi. If he's not going to throw shots back, he's just got to stand over, stand over him and just keep firing them in there. And that was a good round. He really got through a couple of times with some crunching punches. I tell you what, that was so one-sided, that round. I've scored that 10-8. Very, very well could have been a 10 year round. It was all Kalzaki, big punches. And there was a couple of times he just seems as if he was starting to, to get through. And while this is going on, the referee's just gone over to the Jimenez corner to have a word. He's taking a closer look at Jimenez now. And you wonder really how much more he'll see. Now, are they worried about him in that corner? Might they pull him out of here? This is going on now. The bell goes. They're very slow to get out the corner men, Tony Rivera and his team. And I thought just for a second there that they might be pulling Jimenez out of the fight, but no. Well, it was a, a very one-sided round, and I really I think Kazaki has just got to do a similar thing in this round, just really go for broad. Be fair to the promoter Frank Warren here. I don't think he was that keen, really, on Jimenez as the opponent for Kawasaki. But the WBO were absolutely insistent. That's right. Frank Warren obviously knew what he was going to bring to the fight and thought, you know, Kawasaki wants better fights than this. But I can't really think of anything you could criticize Kalzaghi for here. No, you can't. And I think you've got to really say that this is the amount of respect the fighters have for Kalzaghi, that really he's doing nothing. So defensive-minded, he's the number one contender in the world, you know, and he's not doing anything. Kalzaghi, who is the ninth world champion to come from Wales, the list that reached Jim Driscoll, Jimmy Wilde, Percy Jones, Freddie Welsh, Howard Winston, Steve Robinson, Robbie Regan, Barry Jones, and Kalzaki himself, who starts to get through again here. Very swollen now around the face, and puffy Jimenez. You certainly cannot, I don't care how absorbent you are, be allowed to carry on taking heavy shots like that at nauseam. That's right. Every fighter is going to wilt under pressure, and you know every man can be heard. I remember watching Rivera Duran, thinking you know he was so tough, and then Tommy Hearns finally got through, and, and that was the end of it. 
I'll tell you something, if this was not a World Championship fight, I think it would have been stopped by now. It's that one-sided. Yes, it would be. It's just a, a one-horse race at this point. And Kanzai just has to keep on going until he can get him out of there. Zagi looking for the openings. It's almost like Jimenez through all the years has just learned to know when to throw a punch or two back or throw a bit of leather back just to dissuade the referee from stepping in and stopping it. That's fine. He just, after a while of getting hit and call shots, he comes back with something. Left himself open there. And sometimes Kalzaghi must feel as if he's throwing punches against the side of a mountain. While all that goes on, here are some new observations from Nicky Piper. Nicky. Well, that was a tired rounding from Joe Calzaghi, whether he was taking a break. I, th I think he's feeling the pace now. Uh, right at the time when Jimenez is ready to go, uh, he's got to keep the uh, pace up. He's going to get uh, Jimenez out of there. Really, both men are very, very tired. And I disagree. I think Jimenez has been a good opponent. No other uh, super middleweight in the world could have stood up to the pressure. Uh, I mean, these shots are tremendous punches. He's given the, the crowd great value for money, and it's given a good test to Joe Kazaki. Can he be the first to stop him? Yeah, a good opponent, a resilient one, but a good one? Well, I don't think there are many uh, opponents out there who, who want to face Joe Kazaki, apart from the, the other world champions. Can't get them at the moment, so this is a good test. Yeah, I just wished he brought a bit more than durability to it, though. Yes, a bit more uh, determination. Maybe we may see, see that now, you never know. Thanks, Nicky. So here is round nine. And if Kalzaghi has had a real battle to make 12 stone, he admits it is a problem. We don't know how severe a problem at, at this stage. We hope not. It's not too severe because uh, there's some money to be made for him, of course, as the champion in this weight before any move up. But if he has had a problem, I suppose you might start to notice it around now. That's right, but you can generally... If you're doing the hitting, you don't get that tired. It's when you're getting hit back with shots. And Kalzai's, Kalzai's not getting hit back with anything to really tire him. Like most punchers, Kalzai's had problems with his hands, sore hands. After the Eubank fight, he needed uh, six weeks for them to get back to normal. I think he might have some sore hands after this one as well. I think he will. More importantly, I think he will have a sore face. He took some very hard shots from Kalzaki. close enough even if he wanted to to land anything very significant himself when he does try to do that Kalzaghi just picks him off from range he's chopping left hand there from Kalzaghi showing a bit of everything in this fight picking the punches very well indeed and he's taking well, you have to say, a systematic beating here, Jimenez, and uh, sometimes you worry about fighters taking this systematic a beating. That's right, sometimes fighters are a bit too tough for their own good. And fighters like Jimenez, who have never been stopped, he's obviously been in some tough fights and took a, a, a lot of punishment over the years. Still no sign of Jimenez going down or being stopped. Squints his eyes for a moment and comes back out ready to face the next wave of pressure from the eager young Welshman. Longer spells now without Jimenez throwing anything back. Big round for Kalzaki again. 
given Jimenez a round yet? I haven't. Nor have I. He's, he's I mean, he's never had really even good spells in the fight. He's just had to take punishment from the beginning to the end. He's just been, and been very, very negative. 2-8-8 against 33, and now it is stopped, and Calzaghi is the first man to stop one Carlos Jimenez, who is retired on his stool at the end of the ninth round.